A warm welcome to you. This is Books and Blogs. My name is Catherine Mwangi. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're here at City Lodge Hotel at Two River Small, and again, we are featuring a book club. The book today is by one of my favorite, I think, if not the best author and life leader that I have read or come across, Dr. Miles Munro, and the book is Becoming a Leader. We'll be reviewing this book with the Mentrepreneurs Book Club, so let's go and just have a great time. How to become a leader. Leadership is very, very complicated because it is subtle. Most of the people who uh, we call leaders are really not leaders. Dr. Miles Monroe was an international motivational speaker best-selling author, educator, leadership mentor, and consultant for government and business. Traveling extensively throughout the world, Dr. Monroe addresses critical issues affecting the full range of human, social, and spiritual development. He was a popular author of more than 40 books, including The Principles and Benefits of Change, Becoming a Leader, The Most Important Person on Earth, The Spirit of Leadership, The Principles and Power of Vision. If you don't know what a leader is supposed to be and look like, you can never ascertain when you saw one. The book, Becoming a Leader, has been used by Fortune 500 corporations, universities, and international organizations as a tool for leadership development. Dr. Miles Monroe reveals the secrets of dynamic leadership that will turn your leadership potential into a potent reality. With the insight of Dr. Monroe, one will be able to become a frontrunner as you overcome barriers of effective leadership, discover natural leadership qualities lying dormant within you, understand that true leadership means deploying others to become as good as or even better than you are. Be encouraged, provoked, and stimulated as your leadership gift within is activated. Miles Monroe believes true leadership is not something you grasp, but something you become. Welcome to the show this morning. My name is Catherine Mwangi. It's Books and Blogs. We thank City Lodge Hotel at Two River Small for giving us the space to have this conversation today with the Mentorpreneurs Book Club. Thank you so much, young men and women, for joining us. So we'll start with introductions from that end. Just your name, quickly. Oh, mm -hmm. I am David Mwandaero. Okay. Trupena Mukati Emmanuel Okubo. Okay. Bernardo Nyango. Bernard, you're smiling. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Your teeth are all out, which is a, it's a good thing. Yes. Joseph Mo. Diana Nyakio. Bari Mwandwa. Noah Bunde. And he's a pastor. Yes. Pastor. Yes. And Catherine, my namesake. So the book we review today is Becoming a Leader by my favorite human ever, dead or alive, Dr. Miles Munro. And this is one of the earliest books that he authored back when? Maybe 12 years ago. And we discussed this book because that's what you've been reading in right. your book club, yes? Right. yes? Is it a recent review or an old review? Uh, both recent and old. This is one's reviewed. Oh. We are doing a second review of this book. So why do you have your notes if this is a second review? Just to be sure. As a pastor. As a pastor. As a pastor. Just to be sure. It's in your mind, it's in your notes. It's okay. Munro, Munro says you can also make mistakes. It's fine. So I call him my greatest leader ever. Born, alive, dead. No one to me at this point in time still has reached Munro levels. No one has to agree with me. I mean, everyone has their favorites. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But in reading Becoming a Leader, first of all, maybe I should start with, let's see. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the one who was busy planning all of us. Yes. Vernon, yes. Uh, why did you pick this book for you? Um, the reason why I picked this book uh, the motivation first was from the group. Okay. Uh, secondly, I'm a, I'm a leader. Okay. Yes, I'm a youth chairman in our in my local church. Okay. Pepe Dandora. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, the group motivated me mm -hmm. uh, to review this book, to go through this book. Right. I read it at an individual level. Yeah. And so yes, it has really helped me. Mm -hmm. When I started, there are, there are many books that I've started reading. 
but sijamaliza mm-hmm. but when i started this one it I, i realized that it has much impact on me okay yes so bunu jamaliza hizo zingine unajua nikisikia ngao tu ajamaliza vitabu kuna shida mahali no no part of part of, part of my introduction is that i'm married that is a responsibility so sometimes <laughs> 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 Why you told to say you are married? Ulo mbo kifika hapo, you better eh? no, no, no. no. Okay. Yes, uh, it's it's not that I've sijamaliza kumaliza ku mm-hmm. sijamaliza kuzisoma so nimeziacha hivyo. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's only that uh, time. Kwa busy. Yes, mm-hmm. lakini I, I still I, I still plan for them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you've talked about impact. Rufena, did this book have any impact on you? Yes. Okay. Uh, it inspired me to become someone in the society it says mm-hmm. a leader is not to lead but to serve mm-hmm. but mostly right now in our generation people just want to lead but not to serve mm-hmm. yes okay so david give us a difference between the two leading and serving uh, i don't think there's much of a difference mm-hmm. in order to lead you need to be in service of your people mm-hmm. But serving requires you to place yourself at a, a humble level such that people won't see you as exalted or anything would be sort of one of them. Mm. But you can lead them through your actions. Uh, I would say your actions should be exemplary such that they should find a, a model to follow. Yeah. And being there is what makes you a leader. Mm. Yeah. Pasi, can you also delve into that leadership and service? <coughs> yes, I, I want to echo what I said mm. because uh, a leader is really a servant. Uh, I think uh, Jesus made that famous statement that the greatest of you shall be the servant. Mm. So I believe uh, Miles also brings that out very well that uh, every leader ought to have a servant heart. Mm-hmm. So now that we have, I think, uh, coming from Park University as well. We were taught on how to. So we could have promoted. Umetu mbole na tutu ambie tu leda. I couldn't tell. Are you a lecturer there? I do. You're not a lecturer there. What he has done there? But we are, we are the we are the leader. We are we are the leadership university. Eh, uno. Wacha tu ni ambie upasi anya kazi. But. Ani kuwa ani kuwa kwa. Wewe ukozo le advertise why? Wewe ni university. No no no. Actually, why when there is the goals we have a more. Or we we talked about servant leadership. Okay. I think that is what uh, embodies this book. That's what he is really uh, mentioning how you can be a servant leader. Yeah. That's a very important thing. Mm. Yeah. But a leaders born or what's the other word I'm looking for? Made. Leaders are made, not born. Oh. You cannot be born a leader like how. I don't know. From this book from this book usinipatie hiyo unajua una kuona your opinion uko na your very radical opinion na usikasirikia so from this book oh from the book yes um according to miles miles says that you can either be born a leader mm. or if you have that if you have not yet found your purpose after being born so like you can be made now a leader uh-huh. so both of the answers are quite valid yeah You but you couldn't have cut up on what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you are yes. not explaining. What do you mean I'm not? We are here to discuss this. <laughs> okay, yeah. From becoming a leader, even the title is becoming. Yes. Not born a leader. Mm. You're becoming mm. a leader. Mm. So if we lead our own thoughts, now you're born a leader of your own thoughts, your own talk, your own everything. But now you have to become a leader towards other people. Mm. So now that you're being made a leader. Mm-hmm. Even if you're born a leader, now you're being made more of a leader. Mm-hmm. So both answers fit correct yeah. but the descri- the description is quite different yeah. yeah joseph you agree yeah actually i um, agree with what he said mm-hmm. as the title says becoming a leader so that means as you progress through your life yeah. there are certain things that you'll come across and uh, there's actually an art not an article a specific um a, a paragraph yeah. in that book which states uh, uh leaders are people who face themselves or find themselves in a situation where they are forced to do something which is going to elevate their leadership mm-hmm. inside them so that now they can become leaders mm-hmm. they are not uh, born mm-hmm. yeah okay. so support i see how are you like see see yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not disagreeing with anything <laughs> i mean we all read 
the same book. By the way, I'm planning to give out my copy, which is 12 years old, Ooh. to one of you. <laughs> Not one of them. <laughs> so if you want my copy, I've been giving out books for the last several days or weeks or however long. If you want this copy today, you go on to my social media and just let me know why you want it. That's it. It's not a lottery, Diana. Like you said before, it's just, I just want to be touched by, you know, the reasons as to why this book matters to you. But uh, still on the pathway of service, there's a topic here, or a subtopic where great leaders do not desire to lead, but to serve. Who wants to break that down, Diana? Um, well, <clears throat> maybe I can break it down. Yes. And I would love to be as practical as yes. is possible. Yes. Um, great leaders desire to serve and not to lead. Mm. Uh, looking at the scenario in our country, in our churches, in organizations, we can break it down as far as we want to. But most people um, want to lead because of the perks that come with leadership. Maybe um, in organizations, leadership means a bigger paycheck. Uh, in government, leadership means more money, more allowances. So we are, we are more geared towards the perks that come with leadership. Um, as opposed to the service that goes with it. Mm. Um, the, other, the other flip side of it would be, if I desire to serve, then I would be looking at the interest of the people, the interest of the organization that I am in. If it's a family, then um, bringing people together, mm. looking at the growth of each individual. Mm. So that would be the motivation vis-a-vis -vis the facts that come with leadership. Yeah. So I think for me, leadership um, is, is service yeah. as opposed to the facts yeah. that come with it. I think it's something that our generation has been um, trained into, so that we've imbibed what is in it for me, mm. as opposed to what can I do for the people. Yeah. I don't know that at this point I can put, yes. or, or I can refer to mm. maybe Bob, at least all of us are familiar with him. Yeah. And um, it's unfortunate that most of us, yeah, the late okay. Bob. <laughs> the late Bob. Yeah. So it's unfortunate that most of us got to know about the things that he did after he passed on, but we realized that, um, he really was going out of his way to impact people and add value as opposed to um, leading the company to generate more profit. Yes. And we realized that as he was impacting lives, the company kept growing and mm. growing. So I think if we focus on service, then whatever else will follow. Yeah. yeah that's Emmanuel, in our current setting, who are some of the leaders you can name in our midst? Okay, I would give, give an example of uh, the, the former prime minister. Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. because as a leader, when there was a tension, mm -hmm. he... <laughs> Is that where your sentence is going? <laughs> That's what's going on. You know, <laughs> You're going there. Yeah, yeah. 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 But anyway, please explain your point. That, that was a show of leadership. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I like that Agreeing example. To go for the handshake mm -hmm. for the sake of the tension in the country right. to calm down so that the country can move forward. Okay. So he displayed leadership because it's, it was a sacrifice. He mm. sacrificed his, his interest for the sake of the interest of the nation. Right. Yeah, I'll give that example. Okay. Who else has an example that sprang to mind? Hatuna? Current. I think currently. Currently or in the past? Oh, in the past. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, no, Machiani is one of them. Ati Machiani. Ati Machiani. What life has he laid down? No, many people have been in his, in his position, but they have not done much the way he has done much. And I think doing much shows that you, you're sacrificing. The fact that you can achieve better, or you can go a mile mm. than those who are before you, shows that you are sacrificing much more. Hmm. Yes. From the Mangma, we don't have so many. Maybe I can you know people who are outside people. the country? No. You know why I want inside the country? <laughs> <laughs> it's because mm -hmm. even as people are watching us, they have to be able to go like, oh yeah, I, that's an example I can live up to. Oh, that's someone I know. That's someone who's grown up in my environment. Mm -hmm. So I have no reason to, to not be, to succeed or, or to emulate their character. But there is the, the Tabichi, the teacher who got the global teachers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He gave a portion of his salary to yeah. the yeah. 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 Teacher Tabichi people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like about, that. About Ongade Magai. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the way she went all out just to yeah. ensure that we are all. I think she's the greatest we've yeah. had. I think. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the, we saw her being eaten. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 How about the pasta? Which one? You. <laughs> <laughs> First, uh, let me sit properly and look at you. <laughs> now you have to praise yourself. All your answers, you are praising yourself. Timothy. Yeah. Mm. Do you know Reverend Timothy Njoya? Yes. This millennials yeah. in our midst? Yeah. <laughs> Joseph, you are so floating. You're like... I'm so floating. <laughs> you're floating. I'm not floating. You know Timothy Njoya? You know him? No. That's what I mean by... I've heard the name. <laughs> yes. But Patrick in general girls also Oh, sorry, let's finish on uh, yeah, Timothy Georgia. I remember when uh, we went to, well, when we were moving uh, from the single party to multi party mm -hmm. democracy, he was very instrumental and he ended up being battered and beaten. Uh, he was on the streets and all that, yeah. and then eventually we had the multi party. Anyone in your generation that you know? Um, I'm not exactly sure about my legendary, but I feel. Yes. Like that guy has done so much yeah. and sacrificed so much for the country and the people. Especially if, if you go to any campus or any institution, mm, yeah. you'll find as Chandari School of Business. Yeah. Yeah. So that tells you that that guy started as an entrepreneur. Yeah. Yeah. So he decided to impact yeah. and also serve other people service, by constructing yes. these buildings and yes. you know, running that program yes. and all that. Yeah. So I feel like... Uh, He's one of them. Yeah. And I like that you brought up his example because he emulates humility, exactly. which is a quality that's been described uh, well, by Dr. Yeah. Miles. Yeah. Like the humility fact, fact some, some, some place in the book he says, if you go tell him, but I'm humble, you're not humble. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're, you're proud of your humility, you know. So, but man who exemplifies um, that humility aspect and also the late Bob from just what we knew post humorously. Mm is that he was that kind of a guy. So you are just seeing someone at the top, but then when people start to talk about him in his death, yeah. you know, didn't you feel like you wanted to know him a bit more? Yeah. Or they should have been talking just about like, him when he was alive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, They talked about him a lot yeah. after his death than when he was alive. So you just yeah. seem slightly more. Yeah, yeah. slightly. Why, why do you think leaders are not celebrated when they're still alive, breathing, kicking? After you, when you are still with us alive, mm -hmm. many people do not see that as an impact. Maybe they'll see it as a way of seeking fame and, and mm -hmm. corporate level or something. But after your death, your occupation speaks for you. Not the occupation as how much salary you are getting, but actually how you impacted humanity, the role that you played. But when you are here, you will not notice. Mm. It is the same thing we say, you never know its value until it's gone. And I also feel like um, when you, when you as a leader, uh, you know, a good leader, you all, most of the times you always do the right thing. And for the common man, for most people, the right thing is not always what they skew towards you. Yeah. So they will never give you support. Mm -hmm. So they will never praise you for what you do. Most of the people, actually you realize, the people who write more are the haters. People who do not want to. <laughs> give the best mm. comments ever. Mm. So that's why. So when you die, for them it's a celebration, mm. but at the same time we're money, so we have to like really talk about you. The good things. <laughs> it's not like we have to fake it yeah. talking about you. Absolutely. But like Catherine said, it's impact. Mm. If you've been impactful, even your haters will have to just acknowledge yeah. you. Know yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, they'll feel like, yeah, yeah. So anyway, you can't fight results. So those impact, those impact. Anyway. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So there's a phrase here. I've highlighted it. Miles asks, "Why should you become a leader?" Then he answers, "Because it's the calling of every human being, regardless of age, gender, circumstance, or vocation. It is your calling." Yeah, Bernard, yeah. do you agree? Yeah, I agree. I think the before God, there is no coincidence. There is a reason why He creates everything and everyone. So we say, "Amen." Amen. <laughs> 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 That was, that was powerful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and actually, I was also to mention Jesus was also a great leader. That, yeah. uh, when we were mentioning the yeah. example of servanthood, mm. yeah. yes, he mm. brought that. So um, I believe uh, my mom and my dad did not just meet coincidentally, mm -hmm. and then I came up. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason. There's a reason. The, the purpose I'm serving now is the reason why I was, I was born. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. Can I add oh, that? Yeah. 
Um, when you say that there's a reason things happen, like when, you, when people meet, you say we met up for a reason. Mm -hmm. But to imply on a leader, you become a leader so that you can realize your reason. Mm -hmm. Like when somebody is elected to be a leader, the reason was he's going to be a leader, but yes, what has he done? When you are now there, mm -hmm. have you discovered now the reason <coughs> inside? Mm -hmm. Like for instance, let's say, yes, I'm here right now. The reason I'm coming here is analyzing that book. But now, when now I'm here, now yes, now I'm here. I've yes, but we totally see you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but if I see you more than this, I'll, I'll be blind. But yes. <laughs> so now you just ask yourself. Now you are, you know, when you're there. Now what's the reason? Mm. Now try and discover now the reason more and more. Yeah. And that's why Miles says you must find your purpose, yeah. visualize it, mm. and then uh, work towards it. Yeah. And I also believe. Mm -hmm. We are called uh, the, the context. I think the context for his for that phrase, mm -hmm. for for him making that statement, was because he makes an assumption earlier on. He he makes an assumption that we are all familiar with the creation story, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then and then says uh, then quotes Genesis chapter one verse 27, 28, mm -hmm. when God says that uh, um, now I'm giving you the authority mm -hmm. and dominion over all creation. Yeah. So from there, he then builds that concept that all of us, mm -hmm. we are born and we are called to be leaders. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's, mm -hmm. I think it's on the premise of that assumption mm -hmm. that, that he makes that. Yeah, statement, yeah. yeah. because we're given the mandate. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, not to dominate each other like yes. we do. No, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but from your own point. Yes, 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 from what you've been called to do. So, Trufena, most people, um, and that ka ka say, unona unona plana nene. Umona umona Emmanuel. Who observe Emmanuel for me? Cindy, you're very chill, but but Trufena. Uh, most people again make the assumption that because I have a title, I'm a leader. Yeah, which obviously is is not true according to this book. Is it something you agree with? You know, mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. uh, you have a company. Mm -hmm. So you are the manager of that company, meaning you have that title. Mm -hmm. You are the leader of that company. But also, according to that book, the way you lead that company will say uh, how, how a leader are you? something like that, mm -hmm. like from your character. Yes, I can be a leader, but whatever I'm doing doesn't imply I'm a leader. Mm -hmm. Am I serving those people the right way? Or am I just there to sit and give orders and commands? Mm -hmm. Yes. If I may add, yes. you said that there's a difference between a leader and leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So leadership is the position. Mm -hmm. But a leader, you're a leader even without the position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are all leaders, mm. but only that not all of us can occupy positions. Mm. So there's a difference between the office or yes. the position and the person, person occupying. Yes, yes. Mm. Uh, just on that point, uh, he was differentiating, I think, between leader and leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the first definition is that a leader is the position yes. and the responsibilities of that position. Mm -hmm. So I think. You can be given the position, but not meet the responsibility. Mm. So that disqualifies you. As much as you have the title, mm -hmm. it was disqualifies you. Uh, for me, I think a title is just a title. You know, for example, uh, I can call myself an athlete, mm -hmm. but I don't go out there <laughs> and, and do the game. You know, yeah. but, but then. If I go there and do the game, yeah. then other people will begin to call me an athlete. Mm. So I, for me, I think uh, leadership is all about the action, yeah. not about yeah, the title. Yeah, yeah. 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 I so, hear you. And I think he also has to demystify the fact that all of us, when we hear about leadership or a leader, we take it so far away from us. Mm. But mm. When, it, when, when, it breaks, when he breaks it down to if everyone is a leader, then you start introspecting and looking at yourself, and, and you're also um, introspecting and asking yourself, Myself as a leader, yeah. what can I do to be a better leader? Because yeah. I can't give what I don't have. True. So it's first I perfect myself and my leadership upon my life mm -hmm. and my purpose, as Bart rightly said. Mm -hmm. And then now I can exponent that to other people. Because yes. then he also mentioned that a leader also is, is an influencer. So you, yeah. you cannot influence before you also perfect that in yourself. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what he was trying to demystify. I really like that point, Anna, because, and especially in the workplace. Yes. 
or even anywhere, like whichever industry, forget uh, white or blue color, whichever color that color is. <laughs> the thing is, people look at Niule, Manuel your leader, yeah. but they fail to look inside. They're like, oh, yeah. hold on, I, I, I actually am a leader. Yeah. I'm here in purpose. Yeah. And if people discovered that I'm here in purpose, I have every right to be here, I'm here to dominate what my field is, then it even makes it easier for whoever you think is your leader, because there would never be drama. Yeah. That's because the leader is leading leaders. Sure. You see? Sure. So I think, especially this generation, we fail that. We're like, ah, oh, yeah, that's that's the boss. You go ask them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boss Ajasema. So I like, but where, 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 So it's that recognition, and I think that's what this book paints, that it's, it's me. It's me. It's, yes, my dad is a leader in the home, but even I, as his child, I'm a leader and my purpose is something. So we need to demystify. What are the qualities of leadership? And I'll start with David. What qualities of leadership stood out for you reading this book? The most important one, I think, was having discipline in yourself. Mm. Yeah. Uh, such that you need to have a different attitude towards the leadership positions or responsibilities that you have yeah. and that you also need to make sure that you train yourself in a way such that you can attain that responsibility responsibility yeah. that you want to achieve. Yeah. yeah. And discipline involves a variety of things mm -hmm. such as denying yourself quick gratification of mm. what or the position that you have. Yeah. For example you might, need, you might want to get the immediate privileges that come with being a leader. Yeah. But you are there for a purpose and you are there to serve, mm -hmm. as he consistently puts it out in his book. Yeah. So in that uh, attitude of serving others, you should deny yourself certain things first so that you can fulfill the desires of other people. Yeah. And in that process, you impact them in a way that will also build them up so that they can also become leaders. Yeah, yeah. I like that. What about you, Bard? What are the, some of the qualities of leadership that stood out to you? <coughs> According to me, I can say a leader is one who sets his priorities right and includes the priorities of the others. Mm -hmm. But first you must start with yourself. Like, if I say I'm supposed to do this, and then some other branches come up, like some sub-priorities. Mm -hmm. When I fall into these sub-priorities, I'll not reach what I targeted mm -hmm. first. So, so the focus has to be like yeah, razor sharp. Focus in like it's there, yeah. there. If a road goes this way, it's yeah. the same way. Yeah. So if you're a leader, first focus, discover who you are, mm -hmm. grow yourself, build yourself, mm -hmm. become a whole building, and let people come live in that building. <laughs> Sour building, but <laughs> as we soak into this building yeah. <laughs> and what this building has said, we take a quick short commercial break, we'll be right back. <laughs> 